AI agent sounds complicated, right? But what if I told you you can build one in just five minutes? In this tutorial, I'll show you step by step how easy it is to create an AI agent even if you have never done it before. No coding, no confusion, no fluff, just results. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to use this really powerful automation tool called NADN. This is an open source platform. I'll put the link in the description so that way you can get started right away. Once you create your account, you're going to come right here. This will be your blank canvas. So this is the main canvas here. You can always start with the first step. The first step is going to be some form of a trigger. A trigger basically means that how your AI agent or workflow gets started, right? We're going to utilize our on chat message. So I'm going to go ahead and click on chat message. So now this is our first trigger, right? And we're going to now click on this plus button and add our AI agent. So now you can either search for an AI agent or you can actually just use this advanced AI agent and look for different agents. So again, we're not going to pay attention to these. We're just going to click right away on the AI agent here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to give this AI agent a brain. And by brain, I mean we need to give it a large language model so that way it can process our requests. So the way to do that, you're just going to click on chat model here on the plus button. And these are all the native AI models that have a integration with NADN. There's Anthropic, the most popular ones, obviously, you know, the DeepSeek, the Azure, Google. Uh, but we're going to actually go ahead and select OpenAI because this is the simple one, to, the simplest ones to make. So the way to connect your account, all you have to do is click on this little button right here and oops, sorry, on the drop down actually, and go to create new credentials. I've already attached my account, so that's why mine's already showing and by default it's accepting it, but you're going to click on create new credentials. All you have to do is hold, head over to your OpenAI docs and you know, there's lots of instruction. You just Google it. It will show you exactly what to do. All you have to do is create an API key there and copy that, paste it right here and click on save. Now we have your OpenAI account attached. So now we have all the models that are available for us. So you can just click on the scroll. Uh, uh, you can just click on this little box right here, and this will show all of the different models that are available, obviously for from OpenAI family, right? So we're going to select OpenAI or GPT-4 O mini because it's the cheapest and the fastest way. So once you click that, now you have your brain for this AI agent that's attached. Next thing we're going to do is click on memory. Memory gives this AI agent the ability to remember previous conversations. So that way it's very natural, right? So therefore we have several options to give it memory, but the easiest one is just this windows buffer memory, which comes uh, uh, native with the NADN. So you're just going to click on this and then you're going to leave everything as it is at this point. The next thing we need to do is we can give it tools. So this is where kind of the ma magic of AI agent comes in. We can give it a lot of different tools to be able to do different options. And as you can see, when you click on the plus buttons, you have all these different tools that are available for you, depending on what you want to use this AI agent for. We're going to keep this very, very simple. So we're just going to use our Gmail tool. So I'm just going to click on Gmail tool here and grab this. So the same thing, the process is pretty similar. You're just going to click on your credentials, click on new credentials, and all you have to do is click and sign in with Google. And this is going to provide a pop up and you're just going to accept the terms and allow an then to connect to your Gmail account. And that's it, right? You're going to click on save. Let me get rid of this. And now you have your Gmail account attached. Again, we're going to leave everything as it is here. The easiest way to do this is to use our AI companion. But before that, just to go over a little bit here. So the tool description, this will set things automatically. You can leave it as it is. The research is going to be message, the operation, depending on what you want to do. You can label, you can mark thing, mark emails that are read. You can send yourself a draft. You can uh, add or like there's lots of operation there, but we're just going to quickly use our uh, send here. So I'm going to click on send. So for two subject and the message, again, this is what makes NADN such a great tool because a lot of, uh, a lot of these um, fields are now becoming very automated. In the recent release, they added this uh, little, if you can see these three little star things, there's let the model define this parameter. So all you have to do is click on these little things and then this will automatically populate and remove that box and it's just gonna say defined automatically by the model. Meaning now this tool is smart enough based on the prompt or based on the interaction that the user is having with this AI agent, it will automatically grab those parameters and therefore set it automatically with its OpenAI chat model, right? So let's go ahead and test this out so you can see. Again, quickly inside the Gmail, 
you're just going to leave everything as it is. You're going to click on this defined by AI model or <clears throat> yeah, defined automatically by, by the model. So that way everything gets populated. So now let's go ahead and test this thing out, right? So the way to interact with this AI agent is using chat. So I'm just going to click on open chat. So now I'm going to, so if you get click on this little uh, zoom to fit button, this is just going to bring everything over here. So I'm just going to grab it here so that way you can see what's going on. All right, so now I'm just going to type a message saying send a message to Zubair, which is myself, uh, with the email to let him know that I cannot if, if, uh, attend the event tomorrow. Very, very simple. So let me go ahead and type this out. All right, so I said send a message to Zubair at zubair.trabzada at gmail.com and let him know that I cannot make the event tomorrow and thanks for the invite. Very, very simple. So now let's go ahead and press send and then watch our AI agent work. And as you can see right now, the message is being sent to AI agent. It's using the open AI chat model as its brain, and it's going to send an email, right? And it says the message has been successfully sent to Zubair. Let, to, uh, let me know if you need anything else. So now let's go ahead and check uh, to make sure this email was sent. So if I go to my email here and perfect, as you can see, it says the, the subject unable to attend tomorrow's event. Uh, to send the email to Zubair. Hi Zubair, I hope this message finds you well. I wanted to let you know that I cannot make it to the event tomorrow. Thank you for the invite and I hope it goes well. Best regards, right? Very, very simple. The easiest way uh, for us to like not even touch anything, right? We just basically sent this one message and it created this nice email for us just from that one chat message. And if we go inside our agent, you can see everything uh, got properly sent and uh, the output is the same thing as we just saw earlier in the chat message. Very, very simple. So if you go inside your agent now or the Gmail, you can see that it automatically populated the two subject and the message because we clicked on define automatically by the model. So very, very simple, very easy to use. I don't have to do any coding. I don't have to do anything. I don't even have to know how to operate any of these nodes, right? Makes it very, very simple. And now again, you can keep interacting with the CI model because it has this Windows buffer memory that we added. So you can further have a conversation and we'll have a natural conversation with you and you can add additional tools. You can make more things with it. But anyways, that's, we can do that later on on other videos. My goal was to give you this really quick tutorial on how easy it is nowadays to make an AI agent specifically with this amazing tool like NADN. If you're serious about learning how to make more complicated AI agents, make sure you join the school community. I'm going to put the link in the description where we have amazing classrooms where we walk you through everything on how to create amazing AI agents. We have calendar daily calls where you can jump in, ask questions, do live builds, follow co-builds where you can um, watch one of our team members co-build an entire project from start to finish and you can follow along ask questions and interact with it thanks for watching hopefully you find this video helpful make sure you like and subscribe because i've got some amazing content that are upcoming you don't want to miss thanks for watching again and i'll see you on the next one